Hi everyone and welcome to another manga recommendations video. This is for the shoujo series Flower of Life by Fumi Yoshinaga. It's, it was running in Japan in the magazine Wings between 2004 and 2007 and has four volumes in its entirety. It was released by Digital Manga Publishing in English and is fully, fully released, although some of the volumes are pretty hard to get um, nowadays, especially the final volume. It's a comedy kind of school slice of life uh, coming of age series and is probably my favourite manga of all time. People ask me that question a lot, what is your favourite manga series? This series is probably my number one. As a big uh, Yoshinaga fan, I think it does the, it, her balance of humour and uh, heart, like heartfelt, touching moments very, very well. And it's not, it's not a, a kind of hard to get into. I think this is easily recommended to most people, despite um, sort of her her general BL laced humor, which she uses to her, her advantage in this story. So, this story is about a young boy, uh, just starting high school. He, <laughs> it's really about his class as a whole, but he comes in a month late to start classes. Everybody's wondering, oh, why is he so late? Like, oh, he thinks he's so cool. He's got his hair dyed. What a weirdo, you know, he's, he just thinks he can get away with anything because he looks, you know, He's pretty handsome, so he thinks he can just get away with anything. All his classmates are judging him, you know, when he's making his uh, his uh, introduction to the class. But he's just a very fun-loving guy. He says, oh, it's like, my name is Hannah. I've, you know, been looking forward to high school, blah, blah, blah. Um, and the reason I'm... I haven't, you know, been to school for this first month is because I had leukemia and everybody all of a sudden just goes, oh my god, oh my god, we're so sorry, like we didn't realise. And it's interesting how quickly someone or people's perceptions of people change on a dime just with a tiny amount of information and the prejudging we do of people before we really know them. But yes, this is a story of um, Harutaro, uh, who up until just recently was in the hospital uh, battling leukemia. He had missed his entire first year of high school, so he's starting now and is actually a year older than everyone else. But he's just really glad he does that he has this chance to make friends, enjoy high school life. And he's a very happy, outgoing, positive sort of person. It in so far as that he's making all these new friends and he's kind of overcome this horrible thing or this horrible sickness that he's had for so long. And wants to live his life to the fullest. That was the decision he made. So it's the story of him making friends, as well as also just his class as a whole. You do get kind of s snapshots of different kids in, or his different classmates' lives, friendships that you know come up, how the f friends that he makes, and also their teacher's life, who is overwatching like all these these you know, 15, 16 year old sort of trying to figure it all out. Um, there is quite a focus on the teacher herself. She's got a lot of issues with, with, um, relationships as it were. She's not exactly doing the right thing, but I, I think honestly, it's a very human sort of story. All these characters make mistakes and you see that a lot with Yoshinaga's work is that none of her characters are perfect and they are going to screw up on a big scale, on li a little scale. I mean, you say, oh, you're so stupid. Why would you do that? But some people just don't understand that that's what happens in life. There's certain things that 
you uh, can't really control, or you can control, but you don't really realise that you can. So it's very, very uh, realistic in that sense. There's a great variety of characters, male and female, with this series. Kids of all sorts of, um, you know, look, height, weight, personality, it's really, really um, kind of uh, good to see. <laughs> and Yoshinaga has a great sense of her artwork. It's not exactly the most detailed of uh, styles, but she uses it to her advantage. There's a huge amount of emotion put into every panel, and whether that's a positive or a negative emotion, as a reader you really feel that. <laughs> as someone who's been out of high school for a long time at this point, it's really interesting to see how uh, how fresh or how relatable Yoshinaga can make her high school characters, because everyone knows or everyone can feel that innate sense of embarrassment or, oh god, what, why did I do that? Or, oh, I pissed them off. Are we, am I ever going to, you know, talk to them again with your friends that you have in high school? So it it is really a good um, representation of the high school experience as well. But as you can see, cover and the back inside is just the, uh, her typical art style that we generally get to see. Volume 2. I believe the first three volumes are still available on uh, DMP's website or at various uh, other retailers, but Volume 4 had a very limited printing. I don't know if you can even find it anywhere. I f was very lucky with my copy and I got it secondhand. I did overpay for it, but in my opinion, it was worth it. So it's it really is up to you. If you're just wanting to try the series, I definitely recommend you maybe read it via other means beforehand, the last volume at least. Um, because it is kind of very hard to track down. But I, some people say it's good to just leave on the third volume, that it wraps itself up, you know, to an extent that's okay. But I, in my opinion, I believe that the fourth volume is crucial for this series. It has kind of the emotional um, climax of the entire series, and if you miss it, you're really missing out on what this, what makes this series phenomenal, in my opinion. So, yeah, it's not exactly the easiest series to find, but it is definitely worth it if you're willing to kind of hunt around or wanting to try it. Similar um, series or recommendations I would give would be uh, Seiho Boys High School. That's kind of the only one that I can really think of that is in a similar tone, aside from Yoshinaga's other works. Um, so if you're a fan of Yoshinaga, I highly recommend this series of hers. It's not necessarily the most well-known, but um, it is my favorite of hers that I've um, read so far, and I've read all of her work, so... Yeah, but Saiho Boys High School has a similar um, idea of the entirety of the high school cast focusing on, you know, the teens' lives, but in a realistic way. And I believe that was released by Viz uh, a couple years ago now. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you try this series. It's my personal favourite. And... Um, I hope this recommendation has given you kind of an insight of what this series is all about. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks. Till then.